For more on the future of it, I'm joined by Gordon Gray, the Director of Fiscal Policy at the American Action Forum in Washington. Thank you for being with us. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me on. So we heard Daniel talk about uh, Jerome Powell. Knock on wood, this is in fact the person that we think he's going to nominate. We'll but what we know about him, he is a trained attorney. He does not have the background in economics compared to Janet Yellen. What are your thoughts on him? Well, I would, I would make the distinction. He doesn't have a background in um, uh, academic economics, but certainly, uh, you know, he made his living uh, making judgment treasury, calls yes. on, uh, in, in the private equity uh, mm -hmm. uh, industry. Make, he made his living, you know, making judgment calls on valuation and understanding the intersection between finance and the real economy. Uh, that understanding is uh, uh, critical to any, uh, any Fed uh, chairman, so hopefully he can leverage that experience for the better. He's got a reputation of being a non-ideological, a pragmatic policymaker. You talked about he'd worked in private equity. He's obviously worked in the Treasury. What are your thoughts on him, and will his style complement President Trump's? Well, he's, I, I view him as almost sort of the insider's outsider. He's been on the, the Federal Reserve Board for, you know, since 2012. Uh, so he's not, um, a, you know, a wild card candidate. He's not an outsider that, uh, like some, some folks who'd been floated before. But he doesn't have the same background that we are used to seeing in some, some Fed chairs. Uh, so he, he strikes an interesting balance um, between having enough grounding in the operations of the Federal Reserve, having an understanding of their balance sheet, their, their activities, uh, but then also uh, being able to be reconciled with where the president's coming from politically. So he's an interesting choice, will probably be uh, viewed as, as a stable successor. Uh, to, to, to Chairman uh, Yellen, um, not a terrible surprise, but does have bring, bring some questions, uh, a little bit of an outsider uh, approach. It's uh, interesting, appointed by Obama in 2012, right. and of course, President Trump's campaign motto was drain the swamp, right. get rid of the, yeah. the old guard. Right, Ab absolutely. So, um, I, and I think he did have to satisfy some element of, bring, of doing something a little different. Uh, which is why we see a, a fairly um, uh, unprecedented break from tradition in not renominating uh, Chairman Yellen. Um, so that's a break from tradition that, of the sort that the president likes to engage in. Um, but uh, he's not going to, that we, at least prospectively, not going to rock the boat too much. Let's talk about Janet Yellen's style sure. and how she brought the economy back, uh, dealing with unemployment, raising sure. interest rates very slowly, coming out of the economic breakdown right. that we experienced in the United States. This is a delicate balance that he it will is. have to strike. It is. So he's in the unenviable position of having to unwind the Fed's balance sheet, an extraordinary intervention in the economy. So um, just doing that, which everyone sort of expects him to do, but it's difficult, it's unprecedented. Right. Just accomplishing that without doing any damage will be a remarkable achievement, but one for which he'll probably not get very, mu get very much credit. It will be his ability to respond to the unforeseen events that will really test uh, his tenure as chairman if he is in fact nominated. And what about the trajectory moving forward, let's say, you know, for the next decade? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our, the U.S. economic growth trajectory is pretty tepid. Um, and there's only, in fact, the, the Federal Reserve is limited in what it can, can do to change that. We have uh, structural problems with respect to productivity, the labor force. You need uh, Congress, you need federal policies to deal with that. Um, where sort of the Fed is, needs to be out of the business of managing um, a crisis, you know, like we saw during the Great Depression. So what the Fed needs to do is just get some ability to, to go back to its sort of normal operations. And it's got a huge job to do unloading that balance sheet. Well, some say he may take some actions that would conflict with President Trump's claim that he is responsible for uh, the stock market really right. rallying. And uh, yeah. how will they manage that relationship? Well, uh, it's, it's a balance that uh, the president and, and the chairman's going to have to strike, like, like all past chairman and presidential relationships. I've long thought that the president it makes a mistake by trying to essentially live and die by these really noisy data, like the stock market, things that if you want to claim credit for them now, be ready to, to take the blame uh, when they invariably uh, uh, head south. All righty. Well, Gordon Gray with the American Action Forum, thank you for your time. We really do appreciate thank it. Thank you.